them need to be updated. They're more than 50 years old. That also means some of that equipment also needs to be updated. Now for some of those recommendations that we mentioned, I'll give you those right away is that in the next fiscal year, they need to work on reducing firefighters exposure to diesel exhaust and diesel particulate matter. KCFD's Andrew Freeborn says that they're looking into updating some stations. Recently, the county's Board of Supervisors also approving the department accepting the hazard mitigation grant program. It awards them almost a million dollars to fund 33 generators for 32 fire stations and their headquarters. In the meantime, KCFD is starting to receive new self-containing breathing apparatus, which can help filter air and new fire engines. And a base component in these new fire engines is being able to keep the turnouts outside of the cab. All of the toxic chemicals and other things, the smoke that's on those after going into an emergency scene, uh, traditionally has been kept in the cab with the firefighters. Now that's on your skin, you're continuing to breathe that. And so that's just one example of the steps that are being taken. And as for fire engines, two have just been placed in service. 10 just received final inspection and they're expecting those to arrive here in the next several weeks. Freeborn says the new trucks are much needed since some of their engines have more than 300,000 miles on them. And of course, we'll provide more updates for you on how they're addressing some of those grand jury recommendations. We have that information on our website, turn to 23.com. Live in Bakersfield, Kristen Vartan, 23 ABC News, connecting you. And as the demand for firefighters increase here in Kern County and throughout the state, 23ABC is taking an in-depth look at the total fire numbers of the last year. According to Cal Fire, there were a total of 8,835 wildfires in California last year. That number resulted in more than 2.5 million acres suffering fire damage. Last year, we also saw the second largest fire in the state's history, the Dixie Fire, which consumed more than 963,000 acres and destroyed more than 1,300 structures. Lastly, this year, there have been a reported of 193 fires so far, affecting 723 acres.